my friends, one and all to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know, I don't want to get out over my skis here, but I'm beginning to think this Donald Trump fellow might get impeached. <laughs> because, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'm willing to put it out there, John. Lay it all the way out. I'm willing to put it out there, because the Democrats keep releasing these transcripts, and the evidence is pretty damning in that it's exactly what we already knew. And I'll tell you all about it in the latest edition of Don and the Giant Impeach. My phone call was perfect, though. Today, the leader of the impeachment inquiry, Adam Schiff, dropped two more juicy transcripts, and they came with hot bonus tracks, brand new additional testimony from one of the officials at the center of the Ukraine scheme, ambassador to the EU and Jade Cagle A, G Gordon Sondland. <laughs> Sondland's original testimony was pretty good for Trump. In fact, the president triumphantly tweeted, the ambassador to the European <laughs> Union has already testified. He said there was no quid pro quo. Okay. There it is. No quid pro quo. Ain't no quid no pro. No quid pro quo. No quid pro. That was two weeks ago. Well, today, Sondland amended his testimony much the same way that Sherman amended Atlanta. <laughs> and it turns out, yes, quid pro quo. Now, why did Sondland decide to revise his statements to Congress? According to him, incriminating testimony from other witnesses like Bill Taylor refreshed my recollection <laughs> about certain conversations. Huh, you know what? That testimony I just heard really refreshed the old noodle here. <laughs> you know, it made me remember one important detail, that I don't want to go to jail for perjury. <laughs> Specifically, I just thought that. I just... You probably don't want to do that. Mm. He didn't oh. want to. Oh, bing! <laughs> Specific... Specifically, Sondland now recalls that he told a top Ukrainian official that the country likely would not receive American military aid that had been appropriated by Congress unless it publicly committed to the investigations President Trump wanted. That is game, set, match, all she wrote. The fat lady is sung. Other sports metaphors I don't really understand. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Spaulding. Take the rock to the rim. It's over now, so drink that big black cow and get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Sondland clearly knew that the arrangement was wrong in response to a question about pushing the Ukrainians to investigate Biden. He said, I believe I testify that it would be improper to do that. A congressperson followed up, and illegal, right? <laughs> and Sondland said, I'm not a lawyer, but I assume so. <laughs> well, let's check with the Late Show's legal analyst, Max Bialystok. Uh, can we assume that's illegal? Assume away. Now, we also got testimony from former special envoy to Ukraine and Paris tour guide spending way too much time talking to your wife. <laughs> Kurt Volker, we already knew that the Trump administration tried to insist that the Ukrainian president made a public anti-Biden message. But now we know Kurt Volker texted to a top Ukrainian official the script they wanted Zelensky to read to announce the Burisma Biden 2016 election investigations. They sent over a damn script. Ahem. Ahem. According to this paper that I am not reading off of... <laughs> We are going to investigate Sleepy Joe Biden and son of Sleepy Joe for bigly corruption and... <laughs> and why The Apprentice went so downhill when Arnold Schwarzenegger took over. <laughs> military aid now, please. Please, for the military... For sir. There was a weird moment, <laughs> as opposed to all the perfectly normal moments, we're having lately uh, a weird moment where Sondland described a dinner party in Brussels. Sondland says the president of Poland was there. Jay Leno was there. <laughs> Mr. Kushner was there. The questioner asks, did Mr. Zelensky, as a comedian, get along well with Jay Leno? <laughs> and Sondland answers, he was honored to meet him. Apparently, Jay Leno was his hero. <laughs> and 
And I'm just being told that NBC announced that Jay Leno is the new president of Ukraine. Sorry, Conan. <laughs> Better luck next time. Uh, uh, and... That's the one. That's the one. Uh, that's not all the bad stuff. Uh, there's also testimony of former ambassador to Ukraine and badass librarian <laughs> Marie Ivanovich. Ukrainian officials warned Ivanovich that Rudy Giuliani and his Ukrainian cronies wanted to replace her as ambassador because they felt Ivanovich was hindering their push for investigations into Biden and his son. And Ivanovich testified that she was warned to watch my back. Yeah, everyone around Trump has to watch their back. Sadly, no one warned Kurt Suzuki. <laughs> no, Ivanovich just... Whoa, yes. come on, Kurt, you gotta watch that. <laughs> yes. When... When you're a star, they let you do it. Now... <laughs> Ivanovich... Ivanovich also testified that she received calls from senior State Department staff in the middle of the night telling her she'd... need to come home on the next plane. <laughs> because they were concerned for her safety. But she later learned the real reason. They were worried she would be fired by tweet. Oh, there's nothing worse than being fired by tweet, except maybe getting divorced by Snapchat. <laughs>